Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to the video you've been waiting for. I'm talking about gaming speaker and camera samples from the Galaxy S20 FE. Now the S20 FE is right here. This is the device that's coming out October 2nd. And I've gotta say Samsung really impressed us and shocked us with what they showed with this device. Cause it packs everything you expect from the S20 line or even say the Note line in something much cheaper priced at $699. Now, when you look at it compared to the uh, S20 Plus, it's a little bit smaller, but still the same design and size framework. And then we look at it compared to the Note 20 Ultra, of course, it's definitely smaller. But as I mentioned, it packs in a lot of features. It's got a 6.5 inch display, 120 hertz display. So as gamers, you know, whew, we love that 120 hertz, which is nice to see, but also packs the performance you expect. So you would think, okay, 600, uh, $700 device, Samsung's gotta be Snapdragon 765, nah. It's the Snapdragon 865 5G, at least uh, for the 5G variant. And that gives you a lot of power performance, six gigs of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage. You can expand that via micro SD card. So you've got that ability there. Uh, the back design is polycarbonate, but you know what? It's not bad, especially this price point. I know we talked about it with the Note 20, uh, but this is a device that's priced much cheaper and it shows, and it got, it's got multiple colors for you uh, to pick from. It's got fast charging, uh, 25 watt, five char fast charging, 15 watts comes in the box, a wireless charging, reverse wireless charging, charging and a 4500 milliamp battery so all the things you need but you know what let's not waste any time and uh let's go do some gaming but before we do that a quick word from our sponsors uh private internet access so pia or private internet access is a vpn service i can personally vouch for i've been using them for years about five years or so and they've got a ton of features uh some of those features include the ability to use uh, the vpn on all platforms, be it Windows, iOS, macOS, or Android, you're fully covered, right? Uh, you also have the ability to use the VPN service on up to 10 devices simultaneously. So it covers your family, or of course, if you've got multiple devices, which is great. 24 seven customer support. But one of the biggest things I love is that they've got 10,000 servers in 70 countries, which is great giving you the ability uh, to access, of course, the server that fits you better, especially if you're a gamer like me, and you wanna play certain games that's not allowed in your country or location, you can select the right server for you and you are good to go. Now, you guys can go ahead and pick it up today at less than $3 a month, plus you get three months free if you use the link down below and the code. So let's not waste any time and let's get into some gaming.
All right, so gaming is pretty solid on this device. I've got to say, they've done a fantastic job giving us uh, a device that is this price with some solid gaming. When you look at games like PUBG Mobile, at its highest settings, new highest settings of Ultra, um, there we've got about 47 frames per second, which is something is normal we've seen with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. But when we go to uh, the smooth extreme setting, it goes up to about 60 frames per second, so that's fine. Uh, looking at Call of Duty Mobile, that also is at 60 frames per second, so we see that consistency there. And when we look at, of course, Vainglory, we expect to see 120 frames per second, but we don't have it yet. Uh, I think that's just because the device is not released, it's not optimized for that in terms of the game. And you will see that with a lot of 120 uh, hertz display devices. Certain games have to be optimized and things like that, but that runs at a, a efficient 60 frames per second. But our display does run at 120 hertz. You can check that out in the settings by changing it from high, of course, to standard, so 60 to 120, or using our test here for bench, we can actually see uh, through the browser that it does uh, attain up to at least 120 frames per second, so that's actually cool. Now, when it comes to the speakers, the speakers do a really good job. They sound like great during gaming, but here's just a quick audio sample of some music, so you get an idea of what you've been listening to. I mean, so that's that's pretty good, that's solid. But what about the cameras? We haven't talked about them. We've got a 32 megapixel front-facing camera, which does a good job with, of course, your selfies, front-facing photos. That's really nice. And then the red cameras 12, 8, and 12 gives us the adaptability of the S20 line with some really great images. So we can take, of course, live focus images. We've got the whole array of photos. Even some low light photography looks really good with what this device has to offer. And that's always nice to see. Now, the other aspect of this device too is that it records, uh, has the pro mode and can record using the camera and the microphone. And boy, you've got to see the quality. You just got to hear it yourself because you're getting a deal with this package. So check it out. All right, I am using the camera of the Galaxy uh, S20 FE, outdoors New York City, using pro mode, of course, using the microphone off the camera. You get an example of how well it sounds, how it picks up audio, also the video quality, 4K60 on all cameras, uh, front, back, as well as also in pro mode. There's no 8K recording, but Pretty good, man, especially at the price point. Let's take a look at some photos as well. So overall, the S20 FE sounds like an awesome package. It brings a lot from the uh, the higher S20 line of devices, and in a package that I think a lot of people will like. It's priced at $699, and that's a steal, but actually scratch that. It's it's priced at $599, at least some of the pre-orders through either Amazon or BNH Photo, which I'll have the links down below for you. You can pick it up for at least $100 less. So that's a $600 device that packs in a really solid camera, some really solid speakers, uh, great gaming performance, and a massive battery to boot. Plus, a lot of people like that flat display instead of the curved display, so you've got that you know, bang for your buck there. Now, if you order it to Samsung, uh, you are given a $70 credit, so you can use that to get, say, the Game Pass bundle or a few accessories. So you have choices to pick and choose, but pricing-wise, though, look, this has probably got to be the best Galaxy device for this year. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.